Yo guys, what's up? This is Jack2505 and boy, we have to talk about this absolute disgrace of a release of the early access of Wayfinder. Now, Wayfinder was released in early access on August the 15th. So right now, about a week ago, and this release has been nothing short of a disgrace. People getting kicked out of the game or if you're even lucky to get into the game long queues that's been going on for a week now and this is not on i mean digital digital extremes airship syndicate you guys have got to sort this out now don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel now look i'm just going in on this video man no script no nothing i'm just going in where you find her, to be honest, when I played the closed alpha ages ago, I thought this game probably wouldn't be that popular. I actually underestimated how popular the game would be. Now, it had quite a good build up, quite a good rapport building with, you know, YouTubers and Twitch streamers in regards to the build up and then the game is actually going to be free to play for anyone who doesn't know. In six months time, Wayfinder will be free to play. And that is when I recommend that anyone who has not played Wayfinder yet, do not buy this game. Don't buy it. I feel like a mug that I even purchased this. I mean, I bought the Founders Pack, the cheap one, thank God, which is only about £12 in the United Kingdom. And I feel sorry for the people who bought the the super duper deluxe versions and spent a lot of money on this. This this is unacceptable what has happened. Now, you'll get some people, they'll say, oh, just be patient. These things happen. It's early access. No, no, no. Don't listen. Stop accepting this in the in the in the gaming industry. The gaming industry is the only industry in the world that can get away with this. Other industries out there, will, they will look at the gaming industry and thinking, damn, they can release a broken, unfinished product and basically get away with it. And again, I don't want to hear no early access tool either because they have charged you for gaining access to a loading screen. A loading screen. So you can't just jump onto Wayfinder and just play. You got to wait. At one point, I'm seeing, I was seeing queues of around 15,000 people. If I jump in right now, I've got to jump in the queue and I'll be about 4,000 or something. And again, early access, yeah? If it was early access and it was free to play, I get it. There'll be low, anyone who's just basically got a laptop, Steam, Steam Deck, whatever, they'll be able to just jump in and jump in the queue and clock up the service. That I understand. But you have charged people to join this. And there are people out there like me. Well, look, I, I tried to get a refund. I tried to get a refund. But according to Steam, I have played Wayfinder for six hours. That's six hours in waiting, Mr. Steam. Waiting. I've played Wayfinder a total of about... I want to say about 45 minutes, 45 minutes in a week. Only yesterday, my latest session, I was actually able to get into the game without getting booted, without getting booted. Listen, I played a ton of games, a ton of games over the years with terrible releases and I refuse to accept them. And neither should you, neither should you. Remember games like, I don't know, Anthem. Remember that terrible release? Anthem, even in Anthem, I wasn't queuing for a week. I thought Diablo uh, release was bad. This is, this is way worse. And honestly, look, if you're going to defend this kind of release, then when future games come out and the release is badly, don't complain. We've got Starfield in a couple of weeks' time. If that release is badly, don't complain. Just, just keep giving these companies money and they'll just keep doing it. Why? Because they can get away with it. So I think 
if you have not played Wayf Wayfinder yet, you're thinking about getting this game. I'm t listen, I don't like to tell people what to do with their money, but I would fully recommend you wait until the full release, which is in about six months time. So it'll be early 2024 when this game goes uh, full release and it will be free to play. Don't spend any more money on this disgrace of a release. Absolute disgrace. One week and they're still queues. And guess what? When the game releases fully, and I'm sure I'll come across people who say, it's in early access, relax, it will get better, blah, blah, blah. If, what? well, when this game comes out, in full, the same problems will return. The same problems will return, I bet you, anyway, because this time, you're getting people who are jumping into games for free, plus paying for it as well. This sort of problem will continue. How good Wayfinder is, I don't even know. If you said to me, how many classes or characters are there in the game? I don't know. What's the game about? I don't know. I can't get in. When I look at Twitch streams, for example, I'm just seeing loading screens with a circle. That's Wayfinder for a week. Or should I say Wait Finder? Guys, look, I don't like making these types of videos, but sometimes it's just got to be done. Wayfinder release has been nothing short of a disgrace. I don't care if, it, if it's early access. If you got the balls to charge people, make your servers right upon release. And guys, we, we listen, as a gaming community, gaming industry, let's stop accepting this kind of standard. Gaming these days, look, these games may be free to play, but gaming is not cheap. You know what I mean? With your Xbox Series X's and your PlayStation 5's and your, your PC rigs and your, and your Steam Decks. We pay good money for this. So if you're gonna ask for money, deliver the goods. Now, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. My name is Jack2505. When I'm gonna play Wayfinder next, hey, that depends on the servers. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.